Hey boo, this is Marissa Monique. Have you ever wanted to be one of those cool people that has an interesting routine? Well, I thought of seven ways that you can become a better you in 2021. The first one is your brain. Honey, we don't want that to go to mush. So let's make sure that you're reading something or taking in some new information. So you can do that with books. You can do that with audiobooks. You can do that with podcasts. You can do that with articles. You need to be enriching yourself with new information so that you can become a wiser person. Knowledge is power. Duh. Anyway, the second way that you can uh, be improving yourself in 2021 is um, by creating a brand. Figure out some things that really speak to you or that you're really good at and start exploring those more. How you can parlay that into a hustle or how you can help a group of people or how you can teach a group of people. Start to kind of journal that. Make a list and then kind of, you know, sit on it, marinate on it, meditate on it, pray on it and start to develop that and figure out what kind of personal brand that you can make yourself. The third way that you can become a better you in 2021 is by working on your body, honey. That body, adi, adi. Yes. Anyway, um, when I am not at my day job, I actually, when I'm home, I bike every single day as long as it's not raining. And I also go to yoga in the park every single day as long as it's not raining. Honestly, through this pandemic, that has helped me tremendously because it's helped my energy stay up and it's helped my body stay intact, help it stay tight enough for me to be proud of it. Um, so I know all the gyms aren't open, but find a way to stay active, whether that's walking, running, jump roping, um, rollerblading, skating. Um, there's still a lot of people playing tennis and golfing right now. Find a way to get out and about and get moving and take care of your body because when you start moving those good, happy hormones through you, your outlook on your life changes. So make sure that you're staying moving by working on your body. The fourth way that we can become a better uh, person in 2021 is by cleaning up your place. Some of y'all just been hanging out at the house and it just still looks a mess. And then you don't want to be single forever. You want somebody to come visit you or whatever. And you want to, you want to do one of them quick, quick cleans where you, you shove everything everywhere? No, 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 no. Develop a routine. Designate a cleaning day or designate a time to tidy your place. Give yourself, give your place a deep clean and keep things up. Um, I read a book by Susie Orman um, a long time ago, and it was a finance book, obviously. But she said, before you even get into cleaning up your finances or organizing your finances, why don't you organize your space so that you're not actually looking at clutter? And once your mind is clear and your space is clear of clutter, then your finances will, um, it will be easier to clean up your finances. So think about that. Clean up your space. Also, just to prepare for other people to be in your space one day, of course. Anyway, the fifth way that you can improve yourself in 2021 is um, to get your money right after you clean up your space. Uh, go ahead and, you know, think about budgeting a little bit tighter and some financial goals. Go ahead and put those um, into the works. If you are not strong in that, then find someone that does that is specializes in that. That can be a financial planner. There are so many um, people online right now that are um, helping other people with their finances. A good one would be um, the Budgetista, and also um, let's see, Anthony O'Neill. Uh, he does finances, financial work as well. So those are two people I just happen to follow, and um, I've been really pleased with the advice that they have given. Also, um, I know that some of you um, have heard that Robin Hood has been in the media lately for. Um, some uh, issues or whatever, but overall investing is still a good, good thing. It builds your wealth. It brings builds generational wealth. Um, so get into that. Do you know you can just start small? A lot of the 
investment platforms, the stock buying platforms will allow you to buy portions of stock. So if you only have $50 available every paycheck or every month, you can buy $50 worth of a share of a stock. Go ahead and do that. Find something that you like, um, that you buy just in general that you know a lot of. I have a lot of friends that, you know, they shop at Target or they like Apple products or they like specific type of food brands or whatever. Buy into that. Buy a portion of that stock or buy a few stocks. Um, buy a few shares of that. Um, so that's number five, getting your money right, boo, so that you can, you know, clean up your finances and become a better you in 2021. Um, the sixth thing is, um, is to develop healthy self-care routines. Um, you know, I used to be a grindaholic and I didn't always do the best, um, at self-care. I was, you know, doing a, some physically, um, laboring jobs. So I always made sure that I scheduled, um, massages very early in my life, like as early as like 20 or 21 or 22. But, um, you know, after that, I've kind of got into like, you know, facials and more pedicures and things like that. And I understand that in some states it's not open, but you can still do a lot of self-care at home. There are a lot of influencers on um, around that actually uh, do, teach you how to do wonderful self-care things um, at home. And that also, also part of self-care and self-love is also developing healthy boundaries and studying up on that so that you know, you know, what you want to do once you're kind of out in the world and dealing with people. Um, so I encourage that. That is number six. Number seven is honey. We have to protect our hearts and our minds. So while it is February 1st or 2nd, let's go ahead and make Valentine's Day plans. And so if that's going to be a self-care day for you, make it that. If that's going to be a time where you spend it with one of your good friends or your family, you take a road trip or you're having a cookout, whatever you are doing safely, that is, um, make that effort and go ahead and put it on the calendar now. You know, sometimes a lot of us, I know singles, um, kind of Valentine's Day can be a sore spot for some of us. Some of us want to, you know, it to be Valentine's Day every day, but we look forward to having a partner in the future and celebrating Valentine's Day in a very special way. Um, Lauren Conrad said, I read a long time ago, she said, it is better to spend time with and to dedicate time to people that you love and care about and that love and care about you than it is to go on a bad date or a hasty date or, you know, a rush date. So don't scrounge for just any old date. Don't necessarily, and don't necessarily go on a first date and have all these expectations if you're deciding to go out on Valentine's Day for the first time with someone. Go ahead and make a plan, whether that be a road trip, whether that be going to a winery, whatever that is um, with your friends and family or yourself. Celebrate yourself that day and have a good time by yourself. Anyway, um, I thought that these would be helpful to you um, and keep you focused um, as a single person in 2021. Uh, enjoy this list, um, pour into yourself and have an amazing year. Be blessed.